Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolyn and I'm the Floss Tube Stitcher. This is my February Whip Update video and in this video today I'm going to share with you the seven projects I've worked on this month. Yes, been a very busy month. I had three new starts and four finishes. So we're going to talk about all those projects. We're going to also talk about the Mirabilia Retreat, which I went to, the birth of my grandson um, in February, and I also have some exciting news about um, hand-dyed fabrics. So this is bound to be a long one, so hopefully that's okay. So please get settled with your stitching and uh, let's get started. All right, so the first project I worked on this month was my New Year New Start in January, which I'm doing a stitch along with, with my friend Kathy, Sunny Cat. Uh, 2762 on Instagram and this is 2020, 2023 Nutcracker by Shannon Christine Designs and there he is there looking quite splendid. I'm stitching this one on 32 count opalescent Belfast linen. You can see a bit of the sparkle there. Uh, 2 over 2 DMC, the only change I've made to this is I swapped the Chronic for Petite Treasure Braid 003. Not sure why that's zooming in and out, it's trying to focus. So um, I've worked on this one for three days this month, um, including a three hour train ride, which was very enjoyable. Uh, total stitches for February 821. So even though he's only one legged and headless. Um, we hope to change that in the month of March and get a bit more done on this one. So um, this, again, this is my first of the month stitch for each month. So but luckily in February, I got some extra, extra stitches done on him because uh, he was, it was really good to be able to take along to the retreats. Nice size um, travel project. I don't like to do anything too big as far as travel projects are concerned. Okay, uh, my next project was a new start. It's new start number four. Now, I have not washed this one. My intentions were when I got back from the retreat to wash this one and get it off to the framer. And as you'll soon see, it hasn't been washed and obviously not at the framer. So I really have to get cracking with doing this. But this was um, done in honor of my grandson who was born this month. August Denver Karagic. So I did this one identical to the one I did for his sister, which his mum chose. So they both have the same design. It will be framed exactly the same as well. So this one's stitched on 18 count white Ada, two over one using DMC. And I think I worked on this for about eight days. Yeah, just here and there when I could. Um, so this was finish number four for this year. Um, and obviously that leads me to my grandson who was born, as you can see, on the 16th of February. And he's absolutely gorgeous. He, um, he was born by Caesarean. He looks identical to his sister. They could be twins easily. And uh, although he was born with a lot more hair than what she was, um, his mum wanted me to send her thanks, huge thanks to all of you for your well wishes and prayers for his safe um, journey into the world and I'm very happy to say that both baby and mum are doing very very well and transitioning into their new family so we're all very happy here and obviously I have my first grandson so I'm, I'm very blessed to have one of each and it's great just loving it loving it so I will put up a, a picture um, of him here for you as well I am, please bear in mind, I am using a new editing program, so hopefully all will go well with adding these extra pictures. We'll see. If you can see the picture, it's worked. If you can't, I've had issues. <laughs> all right, so that's the second one. Let's just put that aside. All right, now the next one was another new start for the month of February. And this is Penguin Mug. Now, you see that little patch of fabric there? That's because I've already finished March's month. <laughs> I've already finished it, so I don't want to show you that one yet. So anyway, this month was Penguin. So, so 
cute. I love penguins. Ever since going to the penguin parade in Port Phillip, in Victoria, I've just loved penguins. So, so this is stitched again there on the 32 count. You can see the sparkle in that fabric, it's beautiful. 32 count opalescent Belfast linen, um, two over two DMC. I, I didn't use the um, hand dyed threads. Quite happy with the DMC and just love it. Love how this is looking on this fabric. So, so pretty. This one only took me four days, I think. Yeah, and that was my finish number two for this year. So moving quite well on that one. March had a few issues, but you know what? We'll talk about that in the March video. So we won't get into that right now. Finish number three. Now this was a big one. Now this was my, my um, what's the word? Um, focus, my focus project for the month of February obviously because I was going to the Mirabilia retreat. So I can report that this is all finished and beaded and it was all done in time for the retreat, yay. So you're gonna see this one all over again. Um, Mermaids of the Deep Blue by Mirabilia. And I need to go all the way back here so you can see her in full. Just love this fabric. I love how it gradiates from the deep blue into the brighter blue of the ocean. It's just so effective. The color conversion is by Michaela Schumann. Now, if you're interested in seeing this color conversion, it is a Facebook group called Mirabilia Nora Corbett Full Conversions. And there's a file there and you can see conversions for all Mirabilia and Nora, well, not all of them, I guess. Maybe there aren't all of them being done, but there are a lot of conversions there. So check that out. Um, I just love this. At the retreat, there were a couple of others of this design that were stitched in the original colors, which looked absolutely gorgeous. They honestly did. And it was just so nice to see different fabric choices and, you know, people's different interpretations of it. It's just great. Now, if anyone's interested, I have put up a beading tutorial on this design. Now, this is just showing you how I beaded this project. So it's, you know, it's not the be all and end all. This is how you must bead. Definitely not. This is just showing how I bead the project. And I just discuss, you know, um, different size of beads and, and things like that, which I think aren't discussed enough in cross tube world. So if you'd like to check that out, that was my previous video, number 71. And if I can figure it out, I'll put a link to that for you. So yes, very, very happy with that and need to start cracking on um, a frame for this one. Cause you know, I don't want this to go in the drawer of shame like everything else. Well, I shouldn't, shouldn't call it a drawer of shame because it's a beautiful things in the drawer. Shame makes it sound like it's um, a drawer that you're ashamed of. I'm definitely not ashamed of my drawers of cross stitch. Very proud of them. So maybe I'll call it my drawer of proud finishes. There you go. Um, for lack of a better term. <laughs> All right. So that was um, finish number three for 2024. Next, please excuse me checking my notes. There's so much to go through and I, I can't rely on memory alone. I'm getting too old. Finish number five was a sneaky little finish. Um, this one is what got me back into stitching after a rough trot and a break from stitching. So this one is called, oh goodness. All right, let's put something behind it. This is called Simply Scissors by Joe Critchley. It's for, from the World of Cross Stitching magazine, issue 180. I started this on the 14th of June, 2019. And I didn't make notes on what fabric I used. I think it's possibly 28 count platinum Lugana. 
it's done in uh, two over two full crosses. There's fractional stitches, there's French knots, there's back stitching, there's everything you can think of in this. Um, DMC thread, but there was a, uh, a change. So I did change crescent colors, desert mesquite for bean sprout. And you may notice, and I'm gonna point it out. So, cause it's just what we do, all right? If you didn't notice, you're gonna notice now. I did run out of a hand dyed color and I've forgotten what it was called cause I didn't write it down. But the one that went all around the border and I ran out to order some more. And you can see where the new color has been stitched. So it doesn't exactly match. It's a bit brighter and there's not much variegation in that. So it is what it is. This project is for me. It's not a gift. I don't mind. And when it's made up and folded, you don't actually see all these three at once anyway. You only see one at a time. So it really won't matter. And yeah, it's just one of those things. I, I had the hand dyed fabric obviously since 2000, sorry fabric, hand dyed cotton since 2019. So to get the perfect match was always going to be very slim. So I do hope to get this finished, fully finished into a scissor keep by the end of the year. So keep your fingers crossed for me, please, that I can do that because I can see this being very handy to take along to a retreat to hold scissors in. I wish I had this for the Mirabilia retreat, but it wasn't finished in time. But it is a very, very delicate, design it was just so much fun to stitch and as i said this is the one that got me back into stitching after that long break so it's very grateful for that so that um was finish number five for me for this year so cracking with the finishes already so i'm, I'm very happy the plan was this year to try and get some old whips um, finish and, uh, and I'm working through that so please excuse me we, we've got a heat wave here in South Australia this week and I feel quite hot and sticky I've got the aircon on but it's ugh, it's not the best all right uh, so my next project was my 2020 2024 Quaker flag sale get it the right way up this is my Australia flag. Woohoo! Yay! Loving this, loving it, loving it. Just really didn't get a lot of time to work on this. So this is, um, if you have not heard about this awesome sale, it's hosted by Nicole at Davana Lee Design Studio and Gail at Wombat Hollow Crafts. The chart was designed by Vivian at the underscore bivsters uh, i'm stitching mine on 32 count white murano which is oh, absolutely beautiful two over two and i'm just using dmc and as i said this is the australia flag i will be starting another flag this month month of march so looking forward to that, but it will not be two over two. It's going to be one over one and it will be my first ever one over one project. So I hope that goes well. Um, but anyway, as far as this project goes, I managed three days of stitching on this before I left for the retreat. So I did a total of 978 stitches, just nowhere near as much as what I wanted to get done. But hopefully, We'll get some more time done on this one in March. And as I said, new one starting in March with different colors. Um, so that will be exciting and we'll discuss more of that in the next video. So let me just roll this one up, put it out the way. If anyone's interested in that, the, the flag charts are just, it's more, it just seems to be more and more of them coming out every day. There's another one now that I wanna purchase and it's the Yorkshire, county flag which my dad was from yorkshire so and, and that's a really interesting looking um as a state flag uh very very interesting looking flag so now i really want to do that but i'm aware that i've already committed to three 
other flags and these flags are going to take a while so maybe that's a long-term vision of getting that one done I just I don't want to get in over my head and feel like I can't do it all because then that stresses me out um there's also a Facebook group for the um flag stitch along so I will put details of that down in the description below if you're interested so please join um it, it's wonderful wonderful seeing all these flags getting stitched up all right uh and then my last new start was started at the retreat but i just want to show you this before we talk about the retreat because it just makes more sense to discuss this first so this is new start number six for me and it's lady justice by mirabilia and as you can see, oh, uh, look, sorry, got a broken nail. <laughs> um, I got this signed by Nora. So this is one of three charts I got signed by her. Isn't she lovely? Um, I chose this particular design because she's one of the smaller ladies to stitch. And I specifically wanted something new to stitch, to start at the retreat. Um, and although she's beautiful, I'm not a green person. So I wasn't drawn in by the colors, but I did see a conversion online by stitching smileyblogspot.com done in blues and grays. And in case I can't get a proper photo up, I can show you that, which is not the best photocopy, but hopefully I can get a picture, better picture and post it up for you. So obviously she's in grays and blues and yes, please loved that so my my original plan was when i got all i did a, a floss toss right i got all my colors out and i instantly knew i wanted to do it on mushroom lugana I, I laid the fabric fabric i laid the cottons out on the fabric and they just popped and i was yes that's perfect i measured my fabric yep yeah, that's enough and then a few days before the retreat i'm packing everything up getting ready Got all this out again, said to myself, just double check that fabric size and guess what? It was too small. I don't know what I was thinking. There was no way she was gonna fit on there at all. So we can't buy mushroom Lugana. We don't have any local needlework stores in Adelaide. Um, there was no way I was going to get any delivered in time from anywhere. So I picked out some other fabric from my stash which was a um haven't got it here but it's it's called uh, old world map so it's like a very mottled ivory and tan it looked the cotton looked okay on there but i knew it wasn't what i wanted so i brought it to the retreat as an emergency and the idea was to buy something at the retreat i knew there was going to be fabric for sale and i thought you know what there'll be something there that's close that i can buy so luckily for me, I did manage to get some fabric at a needlework store called All Threads Embroidery in Brisbane. And although it's not Mushroom Lagana, it's very, it's close and I'm still happy with it. And this is my start. So everything's shining through, which is not helpful, is it? All right, let's just roll this up a little bit. All right, here we go. I'll add a little bit more. <laughs> and as you can see, the greys there are part of her dress, which will come down here, and this is her sash. So I'm really loving the colours. See how they pop on the, the, the fabric? So this fabric is called Dirty linen cashel it's 28 count i'm stitching at two over two um and as i said this is a conversion so loving that i look i, I really i only brought this to stitch at the retreat that was my plan i didn't want to have multiple projects i really didn't get a lot of stitching done i was warned i wouldn't um but i did get some stitch well the stitching that you can see i got done in my hotel room so i'm pretty happy with what i got done for the month of february so i can't really complain about that so um yes that's 
that was my new start number six for the month. So I'm very happy with that one. And somehow, somewhere, that needs to work into my rotation. Um, because I'll be planning another Mirabilia start very soon. So anyway, <laughs> all these plans, not enough time. I need to win the cross lotto, like we all do. All right. So let's get on to the retreat. <laughs> wow. Seriously, um, my first retreat, it did not disappoint. Organized by Ronnie, who was amazing. Ronnie, if you are watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You did an incredible job. As, uh, look, I've never been to a retreat before, so I, I had nothing to compare it to. But it has set the bar up here, and I'm, I don't know how, any, how anyone else will compare, seriously. So basically, Nancy, Bohemian Stitchery, and I caught a plane together, which was so lovely, um, from Adelaide to Brisbane on the Friday morning. The retreat didn't start till the Saturday, but we decided to get, well, I booked it first, but anyway, you know, I thought the plan was to get there early Friday morning, which we did. Plane flights here are always cancelled and rescheduled, so that, that was my planning. Anyway, uh, we arrived at the venue, which was called Royal on the Park in Brisbane, and we dropped off our bags and we quickly caught an Uber together with Nancy's friend, um, whose name has completely slipped my mind. Liesel, Liesel, Liesel. Nancy's friend, Liesl. So we, we caught a, an Uber to the local needlework store, which was called All Threads Embroidery. And I have to say that is the first time in over 20 years that I have stepped foot inside an embroidery store. And wow, did it feel so good. Just to be able to see and touch and experience the fabrics, the charts, the needles, the accessories, see finished products up on the wall just there's nothing like that and online shopping is is great it's handy but seeing it in the flesh nothing compares to that and i'm so upset we don't have anything like that here in adelaide it's just it's annoying um if i had the money to start up my own cross stitch shop i would love to do that but i don't so i'm not gonna be able to but anyway, um, so I did purchase a few things from there. As I said, I got my fabric, which you just saw for my Lady Justice. I also purchased um, this Biscornu, because you know I like Biscornus, called Heartstring Samplery, which is my very first Heartstring Samplery. The chart is called Let Our Gladness Biscornu. And I really liked that. So I got that and I also got some beading needles because I told you I needed some. So I got some beading needles and I also got some more uh, cross stitch needles, but I don't like them. They're too small. I think they're Nancy's favorite size. So Nancy, you can have them. I, I can't thread them. Seriously, they're, yeah, I have, to, I have to go up a bit bigger and I put them away. So I can't even tell you what size I bought, but it's the smaller, smaller eye. The eye is just ridiculous i just can't do it getting too old um all right so that was all threads embroidery so we went back to the motel we met up with some other ladies and that was my chance to meet ronnie in person and we went to afternoon tea at a place called kerry kerry craigs in brisbane arcade which was very lovely and obviously got to meet Ronnie's granddaughter, one of her granddaughters. She's got a lot of grandchildren and uh, other stitching ladies. So that, that was very nice about to sit around and, and talk stitching and talk about the retreat before it had even started. So that was lovely. Um, in the evening, I met up with Nancy and her friends and we had a lovely dinner down at South Bank. So that was very nice. Saturday was the day it all started. So um, I'll, I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll do a separate 
video because I did take a video and I took photos. So I think I might do a separate video of that for you um, rather than pile it all onto this video, but we'll see how we go. So basically that it was a huge room, huge conference room that was booked for us. There were lots of tables for stitching. I think there are about 70 odd people um, booked for the event. So Nancy and I found our table. Luckily we were sitting together and First thing we noticed on the table was this gorgeous stained box, stitching box, which I found out later were all individually stained by Ronnie, which is incredible. So this is it here. Isn't it beautiful? There's the back. And on top was a badge. So I've got my badge. Bring it up there. There we go. So we all wore badges. And I am a lover of badges because I forget names. I am hopeless with names. So if I forget anyone, as you just heard with Liesl, see, I forgot it. Um, all right. Now, the idea of the box, we were told that during the course of the two days, we would get gifts to go inside each of these drawers, which was fantastic. So randomly throughout the day for the two days, Ronnie and her granddaughters would walk around with trays of goodies that we got to choose something, you know, like a, a color choice of an item from the tray to put into our box. So I will show you what we got. Open up my boxes. And I can't remember what order we got them in, but anyway. It turned out in the end, my theme must have been blue because a lot of my stuff I chose unknowingly ended up being blue, which is it's one of my favorite colors, so I'm happy. So we got a scissor fob and this was a random choice. It came in a pouch, so we didn't get to see what was in it. It said blue, heart, but look what else is on this. Look what else. Can you see that? Oh, I'm not showing this very well, am I? Come on, Carolyn, get your act together. It's a dragon. It must be fate for me to get the dragon. I couldn't, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I couldn't believe it. It's also got a little dolphin and a star and a star and a moon. So that's lovely to go on scissors. And we also got, um, we she came around with um, needle minders with our initial when we got to choose a colour. So I chose blue and I think this might have been the first gift. So I didn't know at that time that blue was going to be my thing. And then we got some, a little package of beeswax, which I haven't unwrapped yet and I don't want to. <laughs> So I want to keep it like that until I use it one day. So it's beeswax in there. And then we got a cute little pouch again. Can't see what's inside it until you pick it. And there's stitch counters. And they're blue. And then we got... A needle threader. This one's got a little star and a fish. And then we got these awesome little scissors. Let me just show you. So these are Kohana and I've never heard of these before. But Nancy said to me, they're very expensive. And I Googled it and they are very expensive. All right, let me just take it out. Let me take it out so you can see. And look, blue. Look at this. Oh my goodness. They're adorable. How cute are they? Wow, Ronnie, you just... Oh my goodness, outdone yourself. All right, I still have all the pouches, everything came in, in here. 
and we had a pass the parcel game and in between each layer there was a little prize and I got a skein of DMC 420 which I will definitely use as one of my used colors um, all right and also um, there was a lovely lady Melody if you're watching channel hello Melody who so generously made a whole box of stitch counters now I've never had stitch counters before but I've always wanted them and she said help yourself take as many as you want and of course I didn't want to do that because I felt greedy but I did take three and look at these aren't they beautiful Thank you so much, Melody, for your kindness and generosity. That is amazing. And I've already started using them. So I knew I would when I finally got them one day. Right, and we also got a exclusive Mirabilia retreat chart, which I'm not allowed to show you yet, but it is gorgeous. Everyone loved it. Um, I can't wait to start it. And hopefully there'll be some more information that we can share about that soon. But that's up to Ronnie. It's it's her design to um, share with everybody. So I will leave that up to her and wait until she gives the go ahead to show it to you all. Um, so I also want to thank, um, Ronnie because as most of you know, I'm a two-handed stitcher. I stitch on a stand and I couldn't take that on the plane to Brisbane. So Ronnie very kindly offered me, um, to borrow her Lowry stand. She never used a Lowry stand before and that was great. So I was able to just use my Q-snap and clipped it onto the the stand and that, that really helped because I was able to stitch with two hands. I wore my, they're over here, excuse me, just reaching for them. I wore my readers, my three times magnification readers in place because obviously I couldn't take my magnifier lens either. So these are the readers that I wear. Look at those. Yes, see, I'm, I'm old. I need those. Um, that I just, you purchase them from the chemist. So they're awesome. I can't look at anything else while I'm wearing them. I have to like look over them to read or doing or even look at people purely just for stitching. But they were awesome. And then the other thing I bought to take on the retreat was this. This is a reading light. I've thrown away the box, unfortunately. Um, it's called Glucosant, I think, Original Neck Reading Light. It comes in three different um, colors. So yellow light, warm white light, and cool white light. And then there's three brightness levels as well. So general reading, brighter reading, or precise reading. So all I had to do is put this around my neck. And these are all bendy. It's a gooseneck, right? It's all bendy. So I just basically put it here. And then you've got... A switch on each side and I was able to focus that directly onto my stitching with my readers on and I was all set I was happy as Larry and it worked a treat and these you can see how bright they go that's that's the highest brightness I don't know what color that's on possibly on two different colors as well um, they fold up look at that they're all bendy they fold up for travel you just got to be careful not to put anything near the buttons because it will turn them on and then the battery will go flat but it doesn't take long to charge up very lightweight didn't take up much room and um they are a godsend so anywhere where there's low lighting and you just need some extra light to shine on your stitches geez highly recommend those i i bought them from amazon and I think they're at 20 odd dollars but I'll, I'll put a link down below if anyone's interested in those but they were fantastic obviously they're just going to be for travel for me that they're not going to overtake my current because I've got a magnifier lens lamp so it's all in one um, but that is just fantastic for travel and 
I'll be using that all the time. Okay, um, now back to the retreat. <laughs> Sorry, I was rambling on a little bit there. So we were supplied with morning tea, afternoon tea, lunch for, for both days. Food was amazing. Um, coffee, tea, um, juice, fruit, all sorts of stuff it was fantastic. Um, obviously, the, the ultimate for me was getting to meet Nora Corbett herself. Um, she wandered around the room. She came and sat at people's tables. She talked about cross-stitch or life or anything really that, that we wanted to talk about. I had a few charts sold, uh, sold, signed by her, which I'm never going to sell. They're going to take pride of place in my collection. Um, so yeah, it was just wonderful getting to meet her. She's very tall, but then I'm very short. So um, I'll pop up some photos here if I can figure it out. And um, I hate having my photo taken, not photogenic at all. So please excuse that. But yeah, anyway, you want to see Nora, not me, because you can see me here. Um, also within the room, there was a really long table along one wall with stuff for us to purchase. There was hand dyed fabrics. There was Nora designs, there was Mirabilia designs, uh, like as in charts, I'm talking. There were out of production um, charts, there were accessories, there was Mirabilia merchandise, um, there was all sorts. So let me I'll show you what I bought. I bought a mug, Mirror Queen. I don't really cast myself as a mirror queen. I've only done three, but anyway, I liked this. Australian Mirabilia Retreat, Queensland 2024 with the mermaid. So that's my new favorite mug. Love that. And I purchased my next Mirabilia new start, Princess Eliana. And it's signed. She's beautiful. I love colour and I could not go past the colour. To me, I think that will be so much fun to stitch. All those bright, beautiful colours. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And I also purchased a beautiful piece of hand-dyed fabric called Wit Sunday. It's 28 count. And it's by a company I've never bought from before. It's on Etsy. Number 12 Stitch Company. Isn't that pretty? Whip Sunday. Uh, that's just begging for a mermaid. Like, oh. So I snap that up, quick smart. Because I don't have a lot of hand dyed fabrics. So I've got that now. I'm very happy with that. Um, I also ordered a retreat t-shirt. So I'm very excited to show you that when that comes in. Um, not sure how long that will take, but hopefully by my next video, you'll get to see that, we'll see. Um, and as well as the stuff to purchase, along the other wall, the other end of the room, was all the displays of finished Mirabilia's and Nora Corbett's. Framed, not framed, didn't matter. Just they were absolutely stunning to see in the flesh. As, again, I did a video. I think I'll, I'll pop that into a completely separate video so you can watch that if you wish to. I do highly recommend it. It's, it's really great to see them stitched up on different fabric types. So look, I, I've been guilty of it myself. I've looked at the chart. The design has appealed to me and then something's turned me off about it. And usually it's just the fabric that it's been stitched on. And when you see it on another fabric, you, you, it's like falling in love all over again. And I, I saw several designs at the retreat that weren't on my wish list that are now on there. So thank you to all those people that brought along theirs to show. I, as I said before, I took my Mermaids of the Deep Blue and I also took my Mermaid of Atlantis uh, that I stitched back many years ago. Uh, both of them unframed. I couldn't take anything with a frame on the plane and obviously didn't take mums. So, um, yeah, that, that was really great. So I'll put that in a separate video. Um, 
Now, on the second day of the retreat, there were Nora's artwork and sketches on display for sale if we wish to. Uh, my finances didn't quite stretch that far, unfortunately. But just seeing this lady's amazing talent in the flesh is incredible. The process she uses to sketch and then paint and using the DMC colors and oh my goodness, just, you know, I can't draw, I can't paint. I always say that's why I stitch. That is my artwork, but it's someone, clearly it's someone else's artwork, but I'm so grateful for it. And I, I wish I had the talent that Nora has. Um, she also did a Q and A, she answered our questions regarding, you know, her process from design to completion and other things like that. So um, she was amazing, amazing to be around for the weekend. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanna say, I wanna thank Ronnie so much and all her grandchildren and her children for their mammoth event in organizing that retreat. That could not have been easy. The detailing was impeccable. The gifts were amazing her kindness and generosity, we all felt loved and welcomed. It, it was just incredible. And I really honestly hope my finances are suitable for me to be able to go again in 2025 because I would love nothing more. Fingers crossed because that, that was amazing. If you get a chance to go in 2025, do it. It's just, yeah, it, it was the best experience and my only negative comment on it was that I wish it was longer two days just it just didn't feel enough I'd love a, a week-long stitch retreat but then obviously that's going to cost more and then it would be out of my budget so see you can't always win but that's the way it was anyway so um after the retreat on the Monday I said goodbye to my friends well I said goodbye to my friends uh, on the Sunday night, uh, Nancy and her friends. And I left from Brisbane to travel to see my brother in Rainbow Island. So I had to catch a train from Gympie, sorry, from Brisbane to Gympie. So it's a three hour train ride. And as I mentioned before, I've put it down on the floor now, I did my Nutcracker travel project on the train. And even though the train was really bumpy and rocky and I suffer from motion sickness, it didn't affect me at all. Absolutely loved it. I got quite a lot of stitching done on the train and that three hours went so fast, which doesn't always when we're stitching, time just flies. But I'm now looking at the possibility of doing a lot more plane, uh, plane, train travel in future because I can stitch and it's very enjoyable. So yes, all right, now on to the last bit of news. And this is really exciting. So before I went to the retreat, I I got the best news. I was a winner in a competition from Daisy Chain Stitchery. Teresa contacted me and said, hey, you're the lucky winner of my Fabric for Followers competition, which, oh my goodness, I was so excited. So basically she ran a competition to help try and grow her Instagram following and you had to share and tag people, you know, to get them to follow her account. I tagged a lot of people. Anyway, so the the prize was to win your very own custom, her, her, she's got hand dyed fabrics under the title of Whoopsie Daisy, which is amazing, Whoopsie Daisy Designs. So the prize was to win your own hand dyed custom fabric that you got to name and then it would remain part of her regular collection. I was like, oh, awesome. As I said, I don't have a lot of hand dyed fabrics. So I was going all into this competition. Anyway, she contacted me um, before the retreat to say I'd won and what color would I like her to produce? So I had a look through her website, which is amazing. I've, I've, I've bought from her before and she sells everything, everything cross stitch, right? But her hand dyed fabrics are beautiful and I actually haven't purchased any of her hand dyed fabrics before. So I was having a look through all the colors and you know what I loved the most, and I talked to other people that were at the retreat about this, 
was that her fabrics, she puts the DMC skein that matches on the fabric. So you can see the true color. You, you, you know, when people, even when I show stuff on you on Floss Tube, and I, you know, I say, oh, this isn't true to life, or it's true to life, because our phones and our videos just change colors. If you've got the DMC skein showing you it matches that fabric, all you have to do when you're at home is pull out that DMC skein, and you can see that exact color and you'll know whether it's the color you want or not. And I think that is fantastic. And it just makes it so much easier for online purchasing. And there's a few um, fabric suppliers that don't do that. And I won't buy from them because I don't have money to waste. And I wanna know that it's the fabric I've got in my head. And by having that DMC skein on there, it's just fantastic. Anyway. So I knew I wanted some fabric for Eliana. Where did I put Eliana? Where are you Eliana? No, put her down somewhere. Where'd she go? Right in front of my eyeballs, there it is. <laughs> See how she stitched on purple. And when I looked at Teresa's website, I noticed she didn't have any um, fabrics in shades of purple so oh perfect so i said to her i'd love some choices of purple or lavender and in a slightly mottled not a flat but a slightly mottled um style so she said yep fine i'll get right onto it so that was that and when i got back from the retreat i got a message saying fabrics were all done ready to be shipped and i was like oh, wow that was so fast so then I received this beautiful package a few days later. Now, I've wrecked it. So if my photos work, I'm gonna put up a photo because I did take a photo. This was the most beautiful package I've seen when I've opened a box. Just attention to detail. This, sorry, it's gonna be a bit scratchy. Let's take this out here and it's stuck. Right. She's got her own daisy tissue paper, which is incredible. Her own daisy stickers. A beautiful card saying, I hope you love the colour choices I have sent you. Um, if you can send me a message when you get them. And yes, they're all yours to keep, share or give away. It's up to you. Well... I'm gonna cry. I told Teresa that she made me cry a lot. And I'm a very emotional person, but on top of the fabrics was a beautiful needle threader. Sorry, I'm trying to hold back the tears <laughs> with a daisy. Just beautiful and very thoughtful. And in the package was not one, not two, but three. Three amazing packages of beautiful hand-dyed fabric. And I don't know what to say, because thank you is not enough. All right, let me hold out one of these. They're, they're all stunning. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm sorry to cry on camera. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's just beautiful. So what I have to do, Teresa messaged me and she said, you need to choose which color pack is my favorite out of the three, and then I need to name them. So these have all just been numbered for me for now, but I need to give them a name and then they will be part of her regular collection, which is just amazing. Um, so 
So I can't believe I'm still crying over this. I had bawled my eyes out when they arrived. Because just the generosity is wonderful. And you can see I'm doing it all over again. Soppy mess. Um, I don't know if you watch my channel, Teresa, but thank you. But you can see this is really meant a lot to me so I've been thinking over the last few days because I I'm not someone that can accept gifts easily and she doesn't know anything about this but I want to be able to give back because that's what I do um, so I want to at least share the word um, about her business with you guys you, the, you know you're an amazing community of stitches fabric is something we all need to create our beautiful works of art and I would really love for you to go and check out Teresa's website and I'll put the details down below and she does ship worldwide um, and I really want to try and help her grow her business um, and I've been thinking maybe the best way for me to help this along is to do a giveaway. So not yet, but I am, my mind's racing with different ideas of what I can do. Um, so I'm going to have some information in some upcoming videos when I can sort it all out because at the moment I'm still blubbering a mess as you can see. But I, I can say it's going to be a subscriber only giveaway. So you will need to be subscribed to my channel. And I pro probably won't have any details about giveaway in the heading. So you need to watch my videos. Um, you know, that's just to block out the people that just, you know, are there for the wrong reasons. Um, her uh, Teresa's fabric ranges from 14 count right up to 40 count so there's something there for everyone she's got huge color ranges uh, whether I do something for these purples or whether I, I do some I, I don't know my mind is absolutely racing I'm still in shock um, but yeah I just I want to be able to say thank you in the best way I know how. So please stay tuned for more information on that in upcoming videos. And uh, I will do my best to try and, and give back to Teresa because it's just wonderful. Anyway, I'm so sorry. <laughs> try not to do this sort of thing on video. It's been a long time since I cried on video. All right, um, that's it for my February update video my March update video um I've got two new stand <laughs> I can't talk two new starts planned and two finishes hopefully all my full coverage whips will be coming back into ro weekly rotations yay I've missed them so much and I know a few of you have too because I know a few of you are just all about the full coverage design so hopefully you'll be happy to see them all back again i'll also be adding an old whip spring back into my weekend rotation until that's finished so um a lot planned for march and we're already you know 10 days in so i do apologize for the late video it's been a very busy month and i have to do it when when i do get the chance um while I was just looking over the table earlier, there was one other thing I forgot to show from the retreat, which I just spotted that I put up here, um, was there was also a gift of a pin cushion and instructions on how to make our own pin cushion. So it came with a couple of squares of fabric and yeah, just so thoughtful, Ronnie. Amazing, it's, it's been an amazing month. I've uh, been riding roller coaster of emotions, <laughs> as you've now seen. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Thank you to 
So those of you that subscribe to my channel, it really means the world to me. Um, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, it'll be a benefit for the upcoming giveaway as well that I've mentioned. And I just want to wish you all a happy stitching month. I hope you get everything you planned on stitching stitched and I hope you get some finishes and some FFOs and all those fun things. So thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate you more than you can ever imagine. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.